Hola a todos. ¿Cómo están? Soy Val. En la lección de hoy vamos a estudiar los adjetivos posesivos. Hello everyone, I'm Val. In today's lesson we're going to study possessive adjectives. First, I would like you to repeat after me. Mi, su, nuestro, nuestra, vuestro, vuestra, mi, su, nuestros, nuestras, vuestros, vuestras. So, me correspond to my, su correspond to your, his, her, and their. So, su is the most used among uh, the possessive adjectives. Okay. It represents your, his, her, it, and their. Their, like the possessive adjective their, T-H-E-I-R. Nuestro or nuestra is our. Now, when is the noun that it, descri it describes is feminine, the adjective has to be feminine too. That's why you have nuestra here. It doesn't show for, for, for me and su, but for nuestro and vuestro, if, if the object that the adjective describes or the noun that the adjective describes, if that noun is feminine, then nuestro become nuestra, vuestro become vuestra, nuestros, when it's plural, it becomes nuestras, if vuestro, when it's plural, it becomes, when it's feminine, it becomes vuestras. So all these are plural. So when it's feminine, it's vuestras or nuestras, Okay, so nuestro is our, vuestro is your, but in the U.S. and Latin America, you use su instead of vuestro. In Spain, you use vuestro, okay, but you may come across materials or you may be listening to a program where they are using vuestro. But in formal uh, Spanish in the U.S. and Latin America, you use su when it's a it's a it's a it's a singular and su with s when it's plural. Okay, so vuestro is like you your, but it's not used that often in the U.S. So it's the same as tu. Tu is informal if you are not very 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 familiar with somebody you don't use to you use su okay so to refer to your okay same thing for vuestro okay so all these forms of adjectives they are called the short form of possessive adjectives okay and later we'll discuss the difference between the short form and the long form so this set is the short form so next, we'll see the long form. Okay. The long form of possessive adjectives are mio, mia, when it's uh, feminine, tuyo, tuya, when it's feminine, suyo, suya, when it's feminine, nuestro, nuestra, when it's feminine, vuestro, Vuestra, when it's feminine. And here are the plural form. Mios, tuyos, suyos, nuestros, vuestros, mias, tuyas, suyas, nuestras, vuestras. Okay. Again, the tuyo, tuya, tuyos, tuyas are informal. You use suyo, suya, suyos, suyas. Uh, uh, instead. So, but 
the major difference between these uh, the short and the long form ad possessive adjectives is their position in relation to the noun they describe or modify. Their position. The position of uh, the short form is before the noun and the, the position of the long form is after the nouns. So this example, a uh, few examples will show us. Um, okay, here, to padre, when you are very, you are in a very familiar context, and padre means what? Padre is parent, it also means father, okay? Su madre, madre is mother, okay? Madre is not parent, it's just mother. But padre is both father, it's also uh, a parent, okay? Uh, it's, I mean, in some uh, religious uh, contests, it's also referred to as a, as a priest. But in uh, this contest, we can refer to, re to it as a father or as a parent, okay? Hijos su hijos. Hijos means children. Okay, you have uh, hijas, which is girl, and hijos or neos, which is boys, but together they are hijos. Okay, so los abuelos are grandparents. Okay, now you can see the short form are preceding the noun they describe to, su, su. Su, mi, nuestra, they all precede the noun, okay? So, to padre, parent or father, su madre, uh, your mother, his mother, her mother, their mother, su hijos, same thing, your children, their children, okay? Su enfermera, his nurse, her nurse, mi doctor, my doctor, nuestra doctora. Now this is uh, our doctor, but with the precision that this is a female doctor, okay? Los abuelos, grandparents, suyos is a long form possessive adjectives. It could not be it could not precede the, the noun. It, you don't you won't have los suyos abuelos. No. If you want to use suyos, you have to put suyos after abuelos. Okay. La bara tuya. Okay. Bara is a is a is like scrub. It's like a robe that a medical personnel wears. So, la bara tuya is your scrub, your rub, but uh, this is a familiar context. If, if you are your colleague doctor, your colleague nurse, you're referring to him or her, you can say la bara tuya. You're referring to uh, the, the rub or the scrub, you can, you can use tuya, okay? But if uh, if you are a patient and and you you talking to a medical personnel, you you refer to you say la bara suya to show formality, okay? If it's a it's a it's a, a, a medical personnel like you as well, but you are not familiar and you want to talk about the scrub or the rub, you can say. La bara suya, but tuya is only on familiar terms that you can use that. So that's uh, uh, what we have for uh, possessive adjectives. So when you see some are preceding and some are, are, are following, don't get confused. So because there are two types of possessive adjectives in Spanish, the uh, uh, the short form and the long form. 
So that's why you will see if you are reading material, you encounter some possessive adjectives following the noun. But most of them are short form that precede the noun. But when you 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 come across the ones that uh, that are placed after the noun, do not be confused. Okay. So that's about adjectives. So adjectives, possessive adjectives, is part of a whole lesson on adjectives. And adjectives, in general, is also a lesson that's a part of a whole module on the part of speech. So if you are interested in becoming a bilingual medical personnel, bilingual nurse or bilingual doctor, you are uh, welcome, you are invited to look at my course. And uh, the course has both grammar and also content knowledge to, to, for people in the medical field. So the grammar part uh, discusses all nine part of speech, noun, article, adjectives, pronoun, verbs, preposition, adverb, conjunction, and interjection. Okay. It's also the module two of, uh, of, of the course teaches you how to build simple sentences in Spanish. So all nine parts of speech plus building sentences in Spanish. You will learn the structure of Spanish sentences and also you practice building basic Spanish sentences. And that's about the grammar. Now the content, we're using a vital sign measurement as a contest. Okay, vital sign measurement as a contest. And at that level, the course will focus on the health parameters that a medical personnel measures when they are taking the vitals. The difference here is you are used to doing that in, uh, in English, but the difference here is you want to convert your skills into Spanish so as when you have a Spanish patient, you can take their vitals without relying on an interpreter. This, the, 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 the module three and module four of this course will teach you all the words and the structure that you need to take the vitals directly in Spanish without relying on an interpreter. You'll build a vocabulary list that you'll keep. You will also do reading related to the health parameters that you measure, such as uh, temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, pain, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation. You'll go through, you'll, you'll read dif different tests on all those six parameters. By the end of the course, uh, you will receive guidance on how to practice and, and build up your skills so as uh, uh, you can take the vitals of Spanish speaking patient without having to rely on an interpreter. So it's a four week course, a four week long course. Uh, the modules are released weekly. And by the end of the four weeks, if you devote the time required, you dedicate uh, the required amount of time to it, and you 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 put you know you rearrange your schedule and devote time to it, and go through the content. At the end of the fourth week, you'll be able to take the vitals of Spanish-speaking patient. Uh, without having to to call for an interpreter, so I uh, encourage you to uh, look uh, 
below in the description you can you'll see the link you click on the links it will give you uh, details about uh, the course more information about each modules and uh, and 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 uh, uh, how to go about it so uh, I thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to seeing you among my uh, 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 students in the near future. Thank you.